Good morning, Hachi. Hi, Hachi. Come here, baby. How are you? Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, coming to you from Washington Township. And we're here with my new, my new buddy. And we've got a front yard pond for this house. It's an existing pond that the homeowner inherited. Um, he's open to changes to a certain point. Before I turn the camera around, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but we are in for a challenge on this one. Accessibility, um, the size of the boulders. A couple of the boulders are a little bit larger than our machine can handle, so we're gonna bring in a, a larger machine to get those boulders out. So we've gotta re renovate this pond 100%, but we're up for a challenge. All right, so we've got a, a Trex deck that comes up to the entrance of this house. Beautiful setup as far as the house and the uh, entranceway. But here's the pond. No skimmer, no biological filtration on this. You can see the water level here where it was. Problem with this, whoever built this did not set the boulder wall up high enough. So we've got slopes coming in. And anytime it rains, of course, one of my pet peeves, landscapers or homeowners using weed barrier underneath mulch. On a slope, that just makes a slide. If you don't know this, if you don't get anything else out of this video, please remember, weed barrier does not go underneath mulch. Weed barrier is for underneath gravel only. Mulch breaks down, it turns into dirt. Where do weeds grow? You got it, in the dirt. So enough soapboxing. And I'll show you what else we got a challenge of. So we've got an outlet on the house over here. So we're gonna put a skimmer in. Yes, these couple big boulders here, that's a four footer, that's a three footer plus, and then we've got another large one here. Everything else we can handle, that's not a problem. But we've gotta get a bigger machine with a long reach that can grab those, set them off to the side and we'll reuse them. So we're draining out the pond now. Um, the only inhabitants other than a couple, um, water beetles on the surface there are some snapping turtles in here and we'll get those uh we'll find th there's a earthen pond in the back and we'll take them out back there so the other problem that we're going to face on this one is this is where he definitely wants to have the waterfall here make a big impact at his entranceway okay um very narrow very high very unnatural one of our challenges is I want to bring that water level up as high as possible I can't do that when I have a weir at the end of our waterfall being so low and the sides on the opposite side being so high if I want to raise this up without having exposed retaining wall along here out of water then I've got to think of something different here so what we had come up with um we're still working out the kinks is potentially making this side over here a pondless waterfall with the basin underneath the bridge and then from the house side because he has nothing to look at sound is traveling away but it'll greet the entrance the visitors of the house coming in here they'll see the waterfall and they're not really even seeing that waterfall because of the plantings that they have he's not up for redoing the plantings but he does want the waterfall here he's stressed that numerous times to us because this window here is his office i want to give him something beautiful over here to look at so that way the water's coming back down here now if i separate this pond on this side and make a pondless waterfall on this side this just comes up and disappears underneath the bridge we raise this side up, put a spillway box right here. So what that'll do is it will appear that the pond water and the waterfall, the water coming from the waterfall is all one system. And then I'll have a separate one over here. So I can have, this actually will be one system. This will be a second system. It's kind of how my simple brain works. Um, I try to make things as easy as possible. Unfortunately, that's not going to be easy trying to create a basin underneath an existing walkway. So stay tuned and 
see what we come up with on this project. Alright, so at the end of day one, uh, very humid out here, we're dealing with 102% humidity. It's only 89 degrees outside, but man, just sweating up a storm. I know, I'm complaining, but anyways, uh, let me turn the camera around I'll show you what we've gotten done so far. So looking from the driveway, we've got a majority of the boulders out. We've got them over here, over here, and as you can see, there is just this is about seven inches of slop just muck now that comes from all the um, wood chips that have been eroding in there um, not having a skimmer everything breaking down in the bottom of the pond the homeowner had stated to us that he did not ever clean it out but you know he inherited this pond he didn't know so we don't fault anybody for not knowing anything had, had a little bit of time to wrap our heads around what we're actually going to do for this pond. We initially thought maybe making a pondless waterfall over here doing the basin either just in front or just after the, um, the raised walkway right here. And then do another spillway right here coming from a skimmer that's located over here to give the appearance that that waterfall in the backdrop feeds this pond. Um, I think we kind of took a unanimous vote that it would be very difficult to try to make a basin underneath or even in front of this the decking so we're going to keep it all as one system we're going to change the look of what you saw over here before we are going to put a signature series skimmer over here we'll put a spillway box over here there's no need to put a biological filter up in there i don't know if you can see it but let me get a little closer so what they had done before is they built this up with a lot of limestone blocks but they've got limestone blocks on the inside too so without risking the integrity of this wall um, we're going to put a spillway box in here up at this level maybe do two spillway boxes have it twist turn do its thing but look at the apparatus that was actually used in the past for creating a waterfall it's just a PVC pipe with a big slit in it along this side. Um, makeshift spillway with angles. Um, you know, use the right product and you won't have a problem with it. To cap this off, because he's got a view, people coming in the driveway, seeing the waterfall and coming up the walkway, we also want to give him the look of a waterfall coming back at the house. So maybe gets a nice Adirondack chair or something like that a little bistro table next to it can sit out on his front deck uh, we're gonna put a waterfall over here now this is where we'll put our biological filtration here twist turn come down now because of the height and because we are keeping this stream here we're gonna raise that stream up a little bit set the waterfall in the stream back a little further we always like to have it drop into the pond but in this case, since we, wa we want to bring the water level up as high as possible, we're not going to be able to because of the surrounding earth. All these plants would have to come out. The earth would have to come down to a respectable level. We're just not getting into that at this point. It's not part of the budget. We will have to build retaining walls along anything higher than water level to hold back all that um, the earth. I don't want it washing into the pond. That's a no-no and it's a maintenance nightmare. That's it for today. We'll be back at it tomorrow. We've got a larger excavator coming out. We're going to bring our diaphragm pump to be able to pump out that uh, foot and a half of muck. And we'll discharge that over there into the woods um, so it's not on a, out on his lawn or anything like that. That's a wrap for today. We'll be back out here tomorrow.
All right, we're getting the last of the uh, boulders out, stockpiling them. Because there was over a foot and a half of muck in this one, and even our diaphragm pump would not take it out. There's Jay. So even though there was a foot and a half of muck in here, even our diaphragm diaphragm pump couldn't take it out. As you saw, what we did with approval from the homeowner is in this area, we dug several, well, we dug two very large holes out in the lawn and we took all the, the muck that was in this pond and we dropped it into the holes. We will be spreading out this entire uh, hillside of dirt and sand and then what we'll do is um, we'll fine grade it closer to the end of the project we will uh, we'll we'll overseed it it's a nice you can see the vista back here I mean it's a very nice lawn but um, you know there's a lot of crabgrass there's a lot of clover things like that so we're not gonna sod it no irrigation system out here Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. The only other option was to um, get a track loader, bring it out here on site, have the excavator, fill up the bucket, and then take it out to the back wood line out there. But then you got tracks going back and forth across the lawn, creating more, more damage. This is gonna be the least uh, obtrusive to the, uh, to the lawn, so. We had to make sure that we located his, his septic field, which is over in this area here. We don't want to damage the septic field. So Brian's taking the last little bit. Soil's out of there. Um, we're actually creating a shelf inside the pond. I think overall, what we're gonna end up having is we're gonna have a three foot depth pond um, in through here. We are gonna do a waterfall where Brian's sitting right now. We will reinvent this waterfall here reshape it and then get this all put back together biological filtration on this end mechanical filtration on this end this is all aesthetics on this side so keep watching and um, leave us any comments along the way All right, so we're back up here in Washington Township. We had a rain day yesterday, torrential downpours. So we had a couple mudslides on that side of the pond. Another pitfall that didn't take into account was the outside of the pond and how the, uh, the terrain is. So we've got high spots here. Down here we've got very low valleys. To be able to put the skimmer where we initially wanted it, because the homeowner wanted to keep the waterfall on that side of his walkway and then come underneath the walkway and then down into the pond the issue with that is the grade is very low right here it's about two and a half feet lower than right there and if we're going to get a waterfall drop here that means the water level in the pond has got to be very low see where the skimmer is see how low that skimmer is right there the only way to get a an overflow too much rain gets into this pond and comes up. We need to have the overflow on the back of the skimmer work 100% on this prop, uh, project because this is all clay underneath here. Hydrostatic pressure will pull up on the liner if any water gets underneath it. We need to make sure that that overflow works properly. Being two foot below grade and having a septic, um, the septic runoff coming from the house Underneath, I don't know if you can see it, but underneath this tree is the clean out. So below that, about a foot, is where the, um, the septic line comes out of the house and then over here into his leach field. We puncture that line, uh, we're in deep trouble. Um, we're gonna have more problems. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to raise that skimmer up where it needs to be water level in the pond can be as high as possible we're going to come up with another solution for a waterfall on that side opposite the pond where i'm standing we're going to do a waterfall a low profile like we always do have the water come back to the viewing area for the uh, homeowner here this is his office front entranceway he walks up here uh, they'll be able to see the the pond and all its glory but we've got to do it right because if we don't do it right we're gonna have nothing but problems in the in the future and we've got time now to do it the right way why do shortcomings we're gonna give the, the customer what he asked for not what he wants so I'll explain that later after this is all up and running and uh, we've got a lot of work to do so we've got a sunny day very moist out here so we're gonna get some work done Here's the pond we did earlier it's a lot warmer back then so if you remember we renovated this from what it used to look like before so actually this was it was really hot when we were here we had to get an air fan out here just to get the air circulating Is that good, Hachi? Good clean water, isn't it? So that's the end of our phase one for this project. Make sure you watch next week's video and see how we tackle the other side of the walkway and what type of water feature we install for this homeowner. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day. Oh, my God.